incomplete, almost going in the other direction. This is a tough situation to be in. It's third and long, and I'll say this to the coach and the quarterback. Don't take a chance. If it's covered down the field, throw it short. Three, 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 three. It's Patrick standing back in the shotgun, ready for the snap. The tackle is made, and that's a three-and-out series for the offense. The Vikings get set at the line, needing to get to the 30 for a first. The Vikings from the 22. Jackson's there to catch the ball that had a lot of heat on it. Oh, I can't give all the off credit to the offense here. They go for it on fourth down here in the second half. Even though they're losing, the defense should have known that that play was coming, and they should have stopped it. First down, following the long play. He'll take the staff, the first here in the fourth quarter. Look at that concentration as he makes the grab. That's his first reception today. When you pick up first downs against the defense, they will get tired. That time, nice job by the offense getting the first down, even though they're losing here in the game. Fitzpatrick's completion percentage, 50% on the day. Deshaun Jackson on the receiving end. Time for the hurry-up offense. Intercepted. No return. The ball's coming out to the 20. You got to stay aggressive on the defensive side. That time the defense did. Even though the offense was going in to score, they finally they come up with the big play and they get the interception inside their own 20 yard line. First down at the 20. Looking across the middle and it's knocked down. After the incomplete pass, it brings up second down. The Vikings go with the dime formation here on defense. Takes it from the gun. What a catch. He's in the clear. The 20, the 10, going to take it home for the touchdown. That touchdown may have given them all the points they need to put this game away, partner. Well, they've controlled it almost from start to finish, Jim, so that drive was impressive. Now let's see if their defense can just finish it off. If I had to guess, I like their chances. The Packers are ready to kick it away. Hester's going to start his return. Just past the 20, will mark it at the 22-yard line. The Vikings just gave up some big turnover points. And let's see if they can hold on to the football this time, Phil, because we know how crucial it is. We talked to the coaches about it this under, week. Under, under. This was their concern with this team. Well, if you want to stay on the field, you better quit turning it over, right, Jim? That's what they, the coaches, look, you, you make mistakes on the field, they're going to get, they're going to be forgiving to a point, but you've got to be smart, you've got to be efficient, and get the job done. Fitzpatrick's got it in the gun. Scrambling now. Got a big lane. Ball is out. The defense has the football. Early in the fourth quarter, and this offense is looking for this game to mercifully end. You know, I love football, and you know it. I love watching it all during the week, college football, high school. But I must admit, I can't wait for this game to end myself because it's all The Packers take it from the 38. Is tackled down after a gain of five. When you run the football like this and you show toughness, there is no doubt. When you fake it and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. The Packers take it from the 33. Still on his feet. And he'll step out of bounds. Marshawn Lynch is a big running back, but he's also behind one of the biggest offensive lines in the NFL, and they make it work that time for a big game. The defense has got to be a little aggressive here. Your team is down. You've got to attack this offense. You don't want them to get in there and get another score. First and ten. Back to the ground. Kevin Burnett able to bring him down. This next play will take place at the 11. 
The Packers all bunched up here as they get set at the line. They feed it to him one more time. The offense is so close right here. They just need to show a little power and punch this in the end zone and get that touchdown. And starts. And runs it across. Touchdown. And with so little time left in this game, that touchdown may have sealed the deal. It's it. The party is officially over. And what a job. The offense just put an exclamation point on that game. They've been terrific all day long, and they deserve the win. Hester will run this one out. Gets out past the 20 and brought down at the 24. The Vikings offense back on the field trying to make up for that costly mistake. The last time they had the ball, the turnover they committed immediately turned into points against them. Yeah, it did, Jim, but you know what? It's not a perfect game. you got to deal with adversity when you're talking about football. So you made that mistake. Let it go and go out there, be aggressive, and see if you can score some points. The Vikings at the line of scrimmage. Split backfield. The Vikings snap it at the 41. Ronnie Hillman makes the catch. That's a gain of eight. The Vikings still trail, but as we look at the passing numbers, it's hard to find much fault with them. Fitzpatrick's numbers, though, speak to a team that could be winning if other things like their defense were doing their part here, partner. Well, yeah, that's right. The defense has got to hold their end up at the offense. They've been very, very good. The quarterback has been accurate. He has been smart. And that always gives you a chance when your quarterback is playing that well. Now first and ten. Keeps it here. Fitzpatrick's going to take off with it. Got a flag down here. Two minutes to go in the second half. The defense accepts the penalty. They come to the line of scrimmage. First down. Brian Fitzpatrick under center. Dreesen's got it on the handoff. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. Holding on to the timeout. The rush back to the line. Just a quick drop back. Dropped it. Got to give the defense a lot of, a lot of credit there, don't you, Jim? They are all over the receivers, all over the field, nowhere to throw it, and it just results in an incompletion. Third and long. Here's the long throw by Fitzpatrick. In stride, and he's caught for the touchdown. That's a wonderful catch by the receiver, getting his first touchdown of his rookie year and, and making that catch. That is the first of many to come for him. And intercepted on his way. He's at the 50, the 40, the 30, the 20, the 10. And he's across the line, and that's two points for this defense. Yeah, what a play by the defense. That can turn games around. I like this new rule they put in. Two-point conversion that time for the defense. The Vikings are set to take the field again on offense after a crazy sequence that didn't go their way. That turnover led to turnover points. And now let's see if the offense can get that back, Phil. Yeah, listen, I know they're going to be motivated because after they turned the football over last time, the coaches took them to the sideline and just gave them heck. That's for sure. That's a good way of seeing it. So motivation can't make those kind of mistakes. You've got to go out there and be much better. First down at the 25. Launches it down the field. But they can't connect. Well, the quarterback that time tried to squeeze it into tight coverage, but no can do. The coverage is too good. The football falls incomplete. The Packers come out in a jumbo set. Scanning the field. He will not get away. He's taken down for the sack. 
the Vikings. Signal for the timeout. And that's the first one they've used. He'll throw it over the middle. Jared Cook has the catch. The offense is still on the field right now. Fourth down, and they'll need to pick up two. Oh, look at that. The defensive line shifted over to the left. And it's spotted away. Wallace has really hit hard that time. And I know the football hit his hands, but when a defender times it perfectly like that, with that much power and speed going into that receiver, you are going to let that football go. That's human nature. Really good job by the defensive player. From the gun. It was right there, but he didn't bring it in. That incompletion by the quarterback, hey, I give the quarterback no fault. That was just tremendous coverage by the secondary player. He's in position and able to uh, make the football be incomplete. Second and ten. Looking long, but it's incomplete. In a situation like this, third and long, if you're the defense, catch up by surprise and blitz. A big third down play coming up with about a minute to go. The Vikings have it at the 34. Wants to go deep. Pass is intercepted. That brings the play to an end. Phil, can you believe the defense steps up and makes the interception to clinch it for him today? Oh, they love this. Nothing like winning a game with the defensive play to ice everything. And I give the defense all the credit. Just a great play on their part. Lynch lined up as the single back. The Packers from the 22. Lynch looking out wide. That's a gain of 10. Jim, no surprise there. You got the lead. It's late in the game. You run the football. Make that clock keep ticking. And you go over these situations so many times in practice. You got to manage the clock. No much time you got left. They've done that well. And just keep running it. After running it, it's second down. Let's go. They'll go ground. Has space. Lynch with an impressive run. Well, that's just the right call to make in this situation. Just run the football. Don't try to be some genius and catch the defense off guard. Manage the clock and just get this game over with. Coming to the line at the 40-yard line. That was a big gainer. Now it's time to back it up. Starks taking the handoff. An open lane. Fights off the hit. I think the coach on the sidelines, he's going to be happy with every first down because he knows that's more time off the clock. When you're up like this, multiple scores in the second half, every first down just puts the odds in your favor of winning this game. First down and 10. Lynch looking out wide. He's averaging five yards per carry on the day. I guess you'd say he's like a quarterback. You can't complete them all. And this, this running back, he can't make every run spectacular. Nowhere to go. He only gets a couple yards this time. And this will probably wrap things up here. And he's thrown to the ground. That penalty is, of course, going to be accepted by the defense. The Packers signal for the timeout, and they have none remaining. And after that penalty, it's now second down and 16. One more play, and it's in the books. When you see linebackers moving around like this, that means they're probably going to blitz. How important was this victory today, Phil? They're all important, but this one gives you that little confidence. 
makes next week a lot easier to deal with.